Yes, I know that the Pixel 9 event is only about 24 hours away. It's actually, I believe, less than 24 hours away, but that isn't going to stop me from finding a new way to talk about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold one more time before it is released. I actually mentioned this a couple of months back, but friend of the channel, Thinborn, does make a Pixel 9 Pro Fold case, and they were kind enough to send it out to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at that Pixel 9 Pro Fold case and we're going to use it as means for comparison in terms of size to some other relevant devices. Before I move on, I do want to say that if you want to purchase any of these Aramid fiber cases, of which they have for all the different Pixel 9 devices, the Pro, the Pro XL, they're beautiful. They are Aramid fiber. They are very, very thin. Obviously, I'm not reviewing this one because I don't even have the device. But as you can see, it does have MagSafe. So MagSafe accessories will attach to it. There will be an affiliate link in the description down below. And there should be a coupon code, which will save you a decent chunk of money as well. So again, check that out if you want to, you know, grab one of these cases for yourself. All that being said, though, let's do some size comparisons. All right, we have a whole bunch of stuff here that we're going to use for uh, size comparing. Now, I do want to very quickly point something out. You may be asking yourself, Shane, uh, where is your original Pixel Fold? And I'm not going to go into this deeply until it is time to go into it deeply because I don't want to repeat what I did in the past, but I do not currently have my original Pixel Fold. That's all I'm going to say about it right now. I'll tell you guys what's going on when the time comes to tell you what's going on. But I do have a case for the original Pixel Fold, and I think that that's going to serve the purpose about as well as having the phone would in terms of doing a size comparison. So let me move my keyboard out of the way, and I think that is where we should start, right? So we have here the original Pixel Fold, and just below it, we have the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. And guys, it is a radical, radical departure. Let me just grab these two back halves, and you can see just how much taller the new Pixel Fold is going to be. If we lay them on top of one another, what is really interesting here is that, man, they are almost the exact same width. Very, very, very similar to the same width. So if you have a Pixel Fold already, just extend it, right? Extend it, what would that be? Maybe three quarters of an inch taller? And you've kind of got the idea of what the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is going to be. And maybe this is an even better visualization having the two frames for the cover display. Again, almost the same width, just taller. And then of course, when you put these two things together side by side, we'll try doing it like that. You can see there's a really big difference here. And the thing that immediately strikes me is how large the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is going to be. With that height, you are definitely changing the aspect ratio of how your apps are going to look. But what I'll say is two things are going to be true. One, when you are using it, just opened up. I mean, look, the OnePlus Open is going to be a really, really good analog for this. They are of very similar size and very similar shape. Let me turn this brightness down just a little bit so it's not so overexposed. What that's going to mean is when you're using just a normal, regular, everyday application, it's going to format itself better here than it was going to in tablet mode on the original Pixel Fold. But that also means that if you then go and try to split screen something, you are going to have a slightly different experience. Now, I would argue it's probably going to still be pretty good because you basically have two normal phone screens side by side. Now, personally, I liked the shorter, wider aspect ratio of the original Pixel Fold, but this is not a Z Fold aspect ratio, okay? This is definitely much, much, much closer to the OnePlus Open, and I feel like we should sort of set this aside, and we will directly compare it to the OnePlus Open. Guys, it is so, so so close to the OnePlus Open. If we set this kind of lined up on there, you can kind of see about what we're dealing with. Man, it's, I mean, it's basically a slightly larger OnePlus Open. And that's, you know, for a lot of people, is going to be really, really good news. Let me close this and we'll do the back side. We'll set these on top of each other. And you can see once again, they are just extremely close, guys. The, the Pixel Fold 2, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, for all intents and purposes, is a slightly larger 
one plus open. Now, something else that I want to kind of point out here, if we put these two halves together, you can probably tell this to some degree how thin this device is going to be. I mean, it's crazy, crazy thin. Now, look, we're not quite to where some of these Chinese manufacturers are, but we are going to be thinner than the Open. We're going to be thinner than the Z Fold 6. And since I mentioned the Z Fold 6, we will do a quick comparison here as well. If I put that cover display bit on top, you can see they're very similar height, but a lot more width. We are not dealing with a narrow cover display like we have here. And if I open the thing up, that actually does still look fairly similar, but of course, if we sort of set these on top, I'll try and line it up on the left side and let it overlap over the edge of the right side. You can see how far that overlaps. It is like a lot wider. That is considerably wider than the Z Fold. I don't think I did that with the OnePlus Open, so we'll, we'll loop back over and we'll do it with the Open as well, just so that you can really see the potential size difference. There you go. Still sticking off the edge by... A fair amount. So this thing is, you know what, guys, I, I, I told you I prefer the landscape, you know, wider than it is tall tablet layout of the original Pixel Fold. And we are not getting that. But we are not getting something that is as narrow, that is basically just a large phone screen like we have on the Z Fold. And we are, in fact, going further than OnePlus, which is almost square we are going to something that is even wider than the oneplus open so you know it's not what i want but it is at least further towards what i want than what we have with these other two devices and i think the last thing we should do here is i have my uh pixel 8 pro and we can look at the size here and what you're going to see is it's basically a pixel 8 pro that opens up i mean it is crazy crazy similar setting that there you can see that the screen is slightly smaller than the pixel 8 pro but it is very very close to the pixel 8 pro i do want to say big thanks to thinborn for sending these cases over for me to look at so early in advance if you do use my link in the description and if you're going to use it use my coupon code save some money and if you make a purchase it is going to help uh, support the channel i will earn some commission off of that so definitely keep that in mind and look guys like i said this is not a review because the phone's not out yet. I'll, I'll do a review when the phone's actually in my hands. But what I can tell you is that this Aramid Fiber case versus the cheaper one that I had for the Pixel Fold, which is, I don't even honestly remember the brand, but like there is such a dramatic difference between these two Aramid Fiber cases. I had a lot of people on my Z Fold review, which I don't even know where I've set my Z Fold. I think I put it back on the charger. People saying, why would you spend $90 for this Aramid Fiber case when I can go to AliExpress and spend $20 on an Aramid Fiber case? Well, I will just tell you very quickly, they are not the same. Do you see how much tighter the weave is on the Thinborn case? And then I'll just tell you, this one is like, it's so flimsy and, and floppy. This one is, it's, I can't really show you this because I can bend both of them, but this one is so much more rigid and it's really just important to remember like, all Aramid fiber is not the same. I just clicked on reviews and scrolled down. They're not all the same. This 600D, like there's different kinds of Aramid fiber. Okay, so the $20 one you get from AliExpress is not the same thing as what you're going to get from Thinborn. If I'm not mistaken, this should be of higher quality than later case as well in terms of this 600D thing. Beware of cheaper products made with 1500D fiber, blurred textures, rough oversized patterns. That's kind of what we're dealing with here. So again, this is not a review. I just want you guys to understand there's a reason why their cases are more expensive. They're not just marking them up for the sake of marking them up. When you hold them both in your hands, you can absolutely feel the difference. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you're here for the Pixel 9 event tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this. It may have already happened, but again... Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.